Welcome back to Magic Tarot Cards. It's Jasmine. Today I'm going to do a July glimpse for every zodiac sign. So I'm going to do one by one individually. I'm going to pull just one card, but if more cards fall out, then I'll read them too. Okay, this is just a glimpse for July. Um, y'all don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up and hit that notification bell so you'll be reminded when I upload another video. I am still a little sick, but I'm getting better and Tank is getting better as well. Remember, we are still in Mercury Retrograde. It officially ends on June 22nd, but after that you have the two weeks of shadow phase, so... Just keep that in mind. We are shuffling. Okay, we're going to start with Cancer. We're going to start with Cancer. What do you see for Cancer, July 2021? 20, Show me Cancer. Let me pull my camera back just a little bit, guys. Okay. Show me Cancer for July 2021. I need a different uh, uh, stand for my camera so I can actually like look down. This one just looks across. July 2021. Oh, there we go. Okay, two flipped over. I am seeing the first one is the Three of Pentacles. For cancel, <coughs> excuse me, I'm still coughing, y'all. Um, I'm seeing a proposal here because this is a marriage card, y'all. Some of y'all might be getting married or proposed to, or there might be a proposal of money because here's the three of pinnacles and that represents money. So it's like a third party might be offering you money, could be another job, a new job, a bonus, uh, maybe lottery winnings if you play the lottery or games of chance. I'm also seeing a baby being born. This is a baby card, and the lady here, this represents a baby in her hand. So, yeah, that's actually a good card. Um, this is the Six of Cups. In the in the upright, it represents um, childhood memories, uh, things from the old childhood friends, reunions, stuff like that. But it's in the reverse, so I am seeing a delay in those things. Like if you're going to go um, on a reunion or visit things from the past, there's going to be a delay in it. It most likely won't happen or it'll, there'll be a huge delay in seeing these people or visiting things from the past. Things like that, okay? This is just a glimpse, y'all, just a glimpse. So there'll be not a whole lot of information in these, just whatever pops up, okay? Also, that um, Six of Cups, it does represent like getting bad news from a family member from the past or just letting go of the past as well. Like you want to live in the past and when things were happier, um, maybe, you know, your childhood memories were a lot happier than they are now and just um, remaining in that energy. So some of us need to come out of that energy and live in the present. Okay. So the next one would be... Pisces, show me what do you see for Pisces for July 2021. Mm. I'm going to go with these two. I am seeing the lover's card here. <coughs> Excuse me. And the three of wands in the reverse. The lover's card represents a lot of sexual activity. So I am seeing someone coming towards you. Pisces that has sex on their mind. They, they like you. And it's a new relationship, but they have sex on their mind. See the snake right there? That's the snake that tricked Eve into eating the apple and then having sex with Adam. So, yeah. And be careful because the God is watching. The angel is watching. So be careful with this person that's coming in because I do see that that's what's on their mind first. Now, it doesn't mean they don't want a relationship, but it does mean that they're thinking about just sex first. Okay, so also the Three of Wands is, this is, when in the upright, it means that a, a third party is coming in to help you. Your ships are sailing in. You already put in hard work and you're passionate about your work. 
but in the reverse it means there's a delay i don't know why i'm seeing so many delays in july but i am seeing a delay in the help that you needed coming in so you're just gonna have to be patient work on it make some calls if you're waiting on a third party to help you with something a business deal or whatever <clears throat> there might be a delay so um work on that you know i might have to give them a call or give them a little push to get that help that you're wanting okay so yeah that's what i'm seeing this is the magician i didn't i didn't it flipped over but i didn't really show its face so i'm not pulling that one next would be uh let me see cancer but scorpio show me a glimpse for scorpio july 2021 what do you see for scorpio show me oh there's one and here's another one that didn't show its face. Okay, so we're having the judgment in the reverse. Um, Scorpio, I am seeing that this, okay, this, in the upright, this is the awakening card, the great aha card, awakening to new ideas, something that you didn't know before. But again, it's in the reverse. <laughs> so I am seeing that there'll be delays. Man, there's a lot of delays. I'm going to have to look up the planets to see why there's so many delays in July. I am seeing a delay in July for you um, obtaining um, information or awakening to something that you need to know. Maybe you haven't come to a realization about something and, and it just hasn't hit you yet. But it will because these cards always flip back around. All right. So there's not a lot for Scorpio. I just am seeing a lot of delays in July. I think it's just the beginning of the month because you'll have the essence of Mercury retrograde. Since it does in June 22nd, then you have two weeks of the uh, the shadow phase of Mercury retrograde. So the first week is going to be some delays, I think, due to that, okay? We're going to do Earth signs next, which is Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. What do you see for Taurus, July 2021? Give me a small glimpse for Taurus. Okay, so here is, I saw another card flip. Okay, so here is the temperance. This means, Taurus, that you're going to be finding balance in the month of July. You're going to be trying really hard, actually, to do this, and, the, and you need to as well. I am seeing here the angel putting her foot in the water and one on land, so that represents balance. And then the vials, she's pouring the water back and forth, back and forth, which also represents balance as well. So... Um, the angel needs to take this road and get to the sun where it's a brand new day and, and I'm seeing a lot of light here around the head so that represents a lot of knowledge as well so I do see that you're going to be more patient in more patient in July and be uh, trying to find that balance in your life, which is a good thing because here lately you haven't had that balance, but now you're going to move towards that. Okay. I'm also seeing someone uh, dealing with an authority figure. I'm going to go ahead and pull this one because it flipped. Um, you might be dealing with an authority figure in July. Uh, it could be a boss, uh, uh, someone in, you know might be going to court, a police officer, anybody like that that has authority. I see that you're going to be dealing with them for some reason. I feel like they hold a decision in their hands because see there is that little ball that he's holding in his hand that represents the whole world he's holding in his hands. So whatever you're dealing with, this person has a decision that you're waiting on and it's like up to them. So I do see that coming in. I am going to do more in July as it approaches, but this is just a small glimpse, okay? Next is Virgo. Give me a small glimpse for Virgo, July 2021. 20, Virgo, I see the Ace of Pentacles popped out for you. It literally fell out of my hand. This is the hand of the universe coming in to offer you a pen, giant pinnacle, which is good luck, beginning of new things, money, or finances are going to improve Virgo in July. You're going to have a lot more money that you were making before. You could possibly get a raise or something. This is also a baby card. If you're not careful, you could be having a baby from a um, another Taurus or Capricorn. And I see that you're going to be inside. See, this is, represents the Garden of Eden. You're going to be inside of it. So you're, wherever you're living, your living space or whatever is going to improve. You might improve it with furniture, 
buying you things or you just might move all together to a better place or even get a better job that's going to be like inside the Garden of Eden. Everything's perfect. So I do see that coming in for you. Remember, it's a small glimpse here. I'll do more towards the end, towards July. Um, let me see, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Show me Capricorn, July 2021. Give me a small glimpse for Capricorn, July 2021. Okay, there we go. We got two that fell out. Capricorn. All right, Capricorn. So I do see then an ex try to come back to you in the recent past or it could in July, but I do see, or maybe you're wanting an ex to come back. This is the card of the exes, okay, when it's in the upright. They quickly come in and quickly come out. But in the reverse, I see that they, they are leaving. They might have already been in your life and now they're leaving or they were coming towards you and decided not to. This also represents short trips for some of you. Um, but this short trip is not going to be successful because it's in the reverse. So if I was you, I, I would think twice about taking a short trip in July. You see in the upright, he's protected. These salamanders mean protection. But since it's in the reverse, there's no protection. So I would think twice about taking a short trip in July. I am seeing you're coming out of your depression because you were depressed for a good while. I'm seeing about a lot of things that have happened, breakups, uh, losing a job, your parents being sick or you being sick, your family members being sick. Someone went to jail or something like that, or you created a self-imprisonment in your mind, a lot of crying depression, but now it's in the reverse. So that represents that you're coming out of that depression. You're getting past the hard times and you're, you're going to get up out of that bed and start moving forward again, Capricorn, which is a good thing. Okay. Be careful on those trips. Again, this is a small glimpse. We'll do more as July approaches. Next is uh, fire signs, which is Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. We're going to do Aries first. Give me a small glimpse for Aries, July 2021. What do you see for Aries? Here we go. We got one that fell out. This is the Three of Cups. I see a lot of reversals in July for some reason. I'm still saying it's due to the Mercury retrograde shadow phase. So in the upright, this represents a celebration of three people of three people okay so in the upright it means celebrating some good news a marriage a new proposal a job graduation you know things like that but it's in the reverse so again that means delays there are going to be delays in your celebration doesn't mean you're not going to have it but it means there are some delays let's say you're going to get married and the caterer uh, called off or the band isn't going to show up on time or the place that you have rented is having water issues or some type of issue maintenance issues so that puts a delay in your wedding your anniversary uh, things like that maybe you were waiting on a job to call you but there was a delay in that money that was supposed to come in a delay in that so you're going to have some delays in the beginning of july i think it's only for one week and then after the shadow phase ends of mercury retrograde shadow phase ends then you'll be upright again okay aries that was for aries next is leo give me a small glimpse for leo july 2021 Give me a small glimpse for Leo, July 2021. Here is one that fell out. Y'all, these are only one card or whatever falls out, okay? I'll do more as the month approaches. This is the Hierophant. This is the lure of confirmation, meaning yes. This is the answer, yes. Uh, this is the mighty judge holding his hand up. He's actually holding both hands up. One with his power rod here and the other one... Uh, focus here one the other one saying yes 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 i agree yes the answer is yes but he's the one that holds the power in his hand and here's the people waiting down here for the answer right very passionate judge he's got his feet firmly planted on the ground meaning that he's very stable judge so it could be you know anyone that you're dealing with with the higher up if you're waiting on a case to be solved or an answer for it the answer you'll get your confirmation on it if you're waiting on child support 
uh, if you were, if you were being sued or you're suing someone, all these information is going to be confirmed. Whatever it is that you're waiting on confirmation, the confirmation is coming. Okay, Leo, that's for Leo. Sagittarius is next. Small glimpse for July 21 for Sagittarius. Give me that one didn't count. Small glimpse for Sagittarius. There's one. Another reversal. I'm going to put that back, y'all. Let's shovel again. Another reversal. <laughs> There's three here. <coughs> Excuse me. I am going to take this one, these three, because this is very significant here for um, Sagittarius. I'm seeing that you are going up on off by yourself in July thinking about stuff okay and this is very important because whoever you are involved with which is right here is I'm seeing a Gemini uh, either Gemini Libra or Aquarius or Taurus Virgo Capricorn this relationship wasn't successful this person promised you everything and gave you nothing you see in the upright they're sneaky they're sneak see how they're tiptoeing because they don't want no one to see them looking over their shoulder to see anyone looked at them. Stealing all these swords, but they left evidence behind. You found out that evidence, okay? Or you're going to find out that evidence in July. And you're going to find out the truth about this person. Because in the reverse, it represents truths coming out, okay? So this person was into a lot of sexual activity. That's what these tents represent sexual activity porn talking to other women or men on the phone on the internet stuff like that but truths are coming out or already have or they're coming out and th then you'll know the truth this person might even come back with a fake apology and say oh i didn't mean to do what i did it was an accident don't believe that because it turned out not to be successful. This is the card of victory when it's in the upright. But it's a double-edged sword. A double-edged sword can go either way. And for you, it went this way. Meaning it was not successful. This relationship was not successful with this person here. So in the month of July, you're going off by yourself. You're going to be thinking about what is your next step. What you need to do about this situation here. Or your further future situations okay i see you doing thinking you know allowing yourself time to think and figure things out for yourself don't ever go back to an ex that's why they call them exes okay x x x x them out all right and that was for sagittarius next we're going to have gemini small glimpse for zodiac sign of gemini for july 2021 give me a small glimpse Ooh. let's see what flipped here Huh. No, okay, we're not going to use none of these. We're going to go again. Gemini. Gemini for July 2021. And why I don't use them is because if I don't feel it, then I don't pull it. If Spirit tells me not to, I don't pull it. There we go. Okay. So, first one that fell out was the... Um, Gemini, what are you up to? Okay, so this is the three of wands in the reverse. The help you wanted, the help you were needing, waiting for your ships to come in. Excuse me. Didn't come in because there was some kind of upset, some kind of blowout, some type of unforeseen event that happened. This is unforeseen events. Something that you didn't know was going to happen that caused a huge blow out you see how the lightning bolt struck the building and the people are flying out so something is happening in july that's going to be a tower moment unforeseen event and your ships are not sailing in we're going to have to do a lot more readings on gemini to see why that is coming in what is happening so be prepared for something unexpected because this is an unexpected event that's causing an upset in july and your ships, the help that you needed, is not coming in for some reason. We will pull more cards on the next one before we get to July so we can get that answer there. Okay, this is just a small glimpse. So be prepared. Don't be afraid because things always work out the way they're supposed to because that's what, how the universe works. Okay. Next is Libra. Small glimpse for Libra, July 2021. And if you if you're a Gemini and you must know the truth, 
You can email me with my email down below and I'll do a personal reading and you can find out ahead of time what's coming for you <laughs> Excuse me. in July. If I ever get rid of this cough, I'll be happy. I get this every year. I remember last year when I was doing readings, I was coughing. I get this bronchitis junk every year. Libra. Libra. Did I already do Libra? Okay, that was Gemini. Libra, okay. Libra. Zodiac sign of Libra. Small glimpse. The quote fell out again. The judgment. I'm seeing a lot of reversals in July, first week of July. Um, again, the awakening card, the great aha card. Something you need to realize. You haven't realized it yet. Um, yeah. So this card is really a warning telling you to wake up, open your eyes to what is going around you. I'm hearing things that are going around you. You're not realizing people that are either stabbing you in the back or taking advantage of you or something like that. You're not paying attention. Pay attention to your surrounding events, who's doing what, and wake up. This is the card of, this is the awakening card. This is, we call it the awakening card or the great aha card. Because you see the angels blasting his horn. He's awakening these people. And it's the great aha card. It's like, oh, okay, I didn't know that. So, but you, that's not happening for you because you're not paying attention. Libra, so pay attention to things around you, what people are doing and stuff, because something's going on behind your back that you need to wake up to, all right? Again, we'll do more as the month approaches. <coughs> Excuse me. Ugh. I gotta take some cough medicine as soon as I'm done here. It's going away, though, because it was really bad. Last but not least, Aquarius. Give me one card. What do you see for Aquarius for July 2021? A small glimpse. Give me a small glimpse for Aquarius, July 2021. Come on, Aquarius. There we go. Okay. So, Aquarius, I am seeing the King of Pentacles here, whether this be you or someone coming towards you that is a man of honor. This is a man of honor. This is a family man. This is a man that wants to take care of his family. He loves taking care of his family, working hard. This person has money. And they got their feet firmly planted on the ground here. And they have a nice home in the back. They hold their coin in their lap, showing their uh, money. Very strong, handsome. I'm seeing a handsome person here. And then also they have a lot of power. They could be in a management position or some type of power position. But this person is coming towards you, Aquarius. This person is coming towards you. And they're going to offer you like family some type of family life, family home, something like that. It could also be a boss that's this type of person that's going to offer you a job or some kind of bonus or something like that. So this is actually a good card to have, y'all. This is for Aquarius. That was the last one. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, y'all. If you want to know more about July, hit me up in my email, and I'll do a personal reading for you, and we can go from there and see what we get all right my email is down below email me don't put it in the comments because i don't always read the comments if i don't have time email me and i'll email you back and then i'll tell you where to go from there the prices are three cards which equal two, three questions for 30 bucks four cards 40 bucks five cards 50 dollars six cards 60 dollars seven cards 70 dollars just like that all have a dollar fee don't forget that so if you're gonna do a three card which is 30 you're gonna have to send 31 dollars okay that's just how it works all right thanks for watching see you next time <laughs>